This is problem number two from section 2.1. In this problem, they want us to find an equation for a linear function parallel to the given line passing through the given point. So they want us to find a parallel line. Uh, we have, uh, they give us a, a line, and they tell us that they want this parallel line to pass through this point. So parallel line must pass through this. <clears throat> okay, so our new line, and I actually I put that right there, new parallel line must pass through this point. So they give us the original equation, which is y equals 4x minus 8. They want us to write a new line that's parallel and goes through that point. Okay, we can do that. So first of all, what does it mean to be parallel? So we know parallel lines, lines have the same slope, have the same slope. Okay, so if we know that they have the same slope, which is important, we can go ahead and look at slope intercept form because if you notice y equals 4x minus 8, that is slope intercept form. So when we look at this equation, y equals 4x minus 8. We know that the slope m, so we can say slope or m equals 4, and the y-intercept is negative 8. Now, for this, uh, for a parallel line, we don't actually need the y-intercept. It says that uh, uh, parallel lines have the same slope. So the only thing we need from this equation to write the new equation is the slope. So I'm going to say my new slope is going to be 4. And I want this uh, new line to pass through this point, 0, 3. So if I have a point and a, and a slope, that's telling me I should probably use point slope form to do this problem. But if you notice our point, our point has 0 for x. And if we have 0 for x, we know that we're actually on the y-axis, which means this is actually the y-intercept. So there's two ways to do this problem. Because we know that that is uh, 0, 3, and that we know that the y-intercept then, because x is 0, we can say the y-intercept is 0, 3, or just 3. We could write this equation right away using slope-intercept form. So let's see that. We're going to say that this is y equals 4x plus 3. This is the answer, okay? And it's parallel. to the original equation they gave us because they have the same slope, different y-intercepts. But what if they don't, what if they give you a, a problem that doesn't have, uh, that doesn't have this point um, that is the y-intercept? Well, what we would do is we'd use point slope form and then just rewrite it into slope intercept form. So let's show this version. So I'm just gonna say uh, another version. So in this other version, we end up with the same answer, and this is how we're going to use it. So we would say y minus y1. So y minus y1, and remember, we're going to use 0, 3 here. So this is 0 and 3, and this is x1, we'll call it, and y1, right? Just the first coordinate, x and y. So we're going to say y minus 3 equals our slope m, which we know we need to use 4 because it's parallel and then x minus our x1, which is 0. Okay, when we take x minus 0, we just get x, right? This is insignificant. So we end up with y minus 3 equals 4x. Add the 3 over, and you'll see we end up with y equals 4x plus 3, which is the same answer. So just another version of how to get that, that answer. So the key with this problem, identify that it's parallel, meaning they need the same slope. 
Once you have the slope, when you pull it out of the other equation, you can write the new line using that coordinate right there.